Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Racha Hakudash, Lalom Yom. Will Yahweh be the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the worldly called God? And Yahweh Shai be the true name of the Lord and Savior, the nation of Israel, who the worldly called Jesus Christ. I want to give double honor to my apostles, others, great millstone, and I want to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, this is Brother Michelle. I'll come back at you with a quick and transit pre camp lesson through the spirit of Bobby Hop, Usher, and Shire from the Cleveland Branch of Great Millstone. All right, and uh, the title of, the le of this lesson will be um, A Man may be, may be Known by His Countenance, right? A man may be, known, may, may be known by his countenance, you know? And what is that countenance? You know, it's uh, uh, the, the uh, what, what people what, what people uh, perceive you to be, you know? So, <laughs> you know, the scriptures say, you know, that, uh, you know, in the book of Acts, that, um, that the elders and Pharisees perceived uh, the disciples to be unlearned men. Now, why was that? Because they they, they didn't see, uh, they didn't have that that spiritual eye. They didn't see that they were being taught directly by the by the uh, the king himself, man. All right, the king of kings. You know. So this is why we 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 look like fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, right? It says that in First Corinthians the fourth chapter. But what do we do? We don't just walk around here. Uh, Claiming to be uh, Bible thumpers and and and, and, and Jeebus lovers, no nah, man. We we preach the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. Right, the true the true savior of the nation of Israel, the, the of the Bible. So what do we do? We put on that whole but we put on that whole armor, that whole countenance, right? The scripture says that uh, uh, you know. Um, Wisdom in, in, in Ecclesiastes the eighth chapter that wisdom maketh the man face to shine and his countenance uh, you know shall be changed roughly paraphrasing you see our countenance has changed from niggas in the world to men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai but what are but what are people going to perceive though they're going to perceive that what's the saying wisdom of Solomon the third chapter that in the sight of the unwise. They seem to die, but the end of their, uh, but the, but the end of them are at peace, right? In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die because they look at us and they perceive that, you know, we're, uh, we've lost it, right? We don't go out and kick it like that no more. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't eat uh, certain foods. You know, we don't celebrate holidays, birthdays. You know all that stuff. All right, because our countenance has changed, right? For for them, they think it's changed for the worse, but us, we, we know that it's changed for the better, right? So this is why our our our, our countenance is uh, is is uh, the perception of countenance will differ by uh, uh, by different people, right? Because the angels are looking and 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 and, and, and rejoicing, man. It's good to say that uh, what's that in Luke? Um, that the that the angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner, uh, sinner that repenteth over more over ninety nine just persons. All right. So you may not change your 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 clothes. You know what I'm saying? You may tighten your clothes up a little bit, stop sagging your pants like a fucking uh, uh, nigga. You know, stuff like that. You know, but. Now you you've thrown on that 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 uh, that garment of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. That uh, that that other people ain't gonna be able to see. You know. But who sees it? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai sees it, man. The angel sees it. So we change our countenance, man. We we're we're, we're known by our countenance. That's how you know if a man is walking with wisdom and wisdom or not. You know, Jacob's been so, so indoctrinated off of, uh, off of what Esau tells him how to act because Esau's the one that told, you know, Jake to, to dress in baggy clothes and, uh, you know, bang on each other. All that's funded by, by Amalek, man. The, the, same, the same tribe that, that the Lord has, uh, has indignation uh, with uh, uh, generation after generation, man. Going to war with them. 
into that ultimate war, the final war, the third world war. All right, so what we gonna do, man? We gonna we gonna we gonna walk with our head up, right? We we gonna continue to throw those prayers up, man. In in the midst in the in the face of adversity, you know, sometimes it's, it may be harder to, to to do it to say. It may be easier to say it than do it, but the more but the more you you uh you put that in your mind, cause it's all about the mind, man. You know, uh, uh, Apostle Gabar, he just did a lesson uh, a couple days ago, uh, and he was going in on um, well, he had reference uh, about Revelation, the third chapter, where Yahweh Shah said that he stands at the door and knocks. What is he doing? He's he's that's dark. That's a dark saying for he's uh, he's trying to enter into your mind, changing your thought process. Because when you when, when your mind changes, now your whole now your outward countenance changes, man. All right. So we put we put on that whole armor. We put on that that beautiful garment. That's, that's what the scriptures say in Isaiah. You know, arise, arise, and, and throw, uh, put on that beautiful garments. That's that spiritual garment that 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 um, exudes uh, uh, an aura about you, man. That's unmatched with anything else. You know, you can't you can't get you can't get this aura anywhere else, man. Right? This is the doctrine of life. So what do we do? We we put on life, man. <laughs> we put on life in, in the midst of death. Right? This whole this whole this whole place is death, man. It's, it's the valley of the shadow of death. Right? But we put on life through who? Through Yahweh Shad. Because Yahweh Shad said in John the 14th chapter. That he is the way, the truth, and the life. And when you think of when you think of the springtime, what do you think of? This is how we know that the springtime is is actually uh, the new the uh, the new year, all right? Because during the springtime, what things come to life? The 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 uh, the, the trees regain their their, their leaves, that the greenness, right? The flowers bloom, the birds chirping, right? It's life. Right, because this is this is uh, uh, it, the, because the, the earth comes out of, of that dead state in the winter. Right, so what are, what are we doing? We're coming out of that dead state by what? Constantly repenting, first and foremost, and also uh, 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 constantly uh, walking in light, man. That's how your countenance is going to change because you, you know, man, we 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 know brothers personally, man, that then fell off, man, and and and, and went into other doctors and went into other camps, right? And when you look at these brothers, man, they they countenance change, man. They, their faces get uh, uh, darker, like a darker countenance, right? They look older, you know what I'm saying? Long in the tooth, you know what I mean? Like I'm no young buck, but you know I'm I, I'm still relatively. I'm still look I'm relatively young for my age, I guess you could say. People sell me, you know what I mean? Not to brag or nothing, you know, but, you know, we all, you know, when you got that doctrine, man, it, it makes you young, man. It gives you gray hair, but it, it, it but your, but your countenance stays young, you know? Because this, this truth keeps you youthful. Why do you think, at, uh, in the beginning, you know, when we felt when we started to fall from our first estate, why do you think that man lived so long? You know, we there was man living eight, seven hundred years, man. You know, Methuselah he lived, uh, I believe, it was nine hundred and sixty-three years. Now the scriptures say that that a, la a man's life uh, is what uh, uh, three score and ten. In the, in, in, in the book of Psalms, you know? So, you know, this, these are the things that, that, that we're aware of, man. Right? Uh, about, about how our countenance is supposed to be. How we walk, how we handle ourselves, how we carry ourselves. It all goes into our countenance. 
because our countenance is what, is what we show forth, right? But Yahweh Shai said, let your light shine, shine before men. That's your countenance, man. That's this wisdom that, that's been instilled in you to, to, uh, to, to be um, uh, understanding in, in, the, in, the, in the sight of the nations, man. Every, everything else is, is folly and foolishness. Right? It says that in, uh, in, in 1 Corinthians, that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai has called us out of this world and brought us into his marvelous light. Uh, so now what? Now we exemplify that light, man, and we spread it out to others. Whether they hear or forbear, whether they look or not. Hey, it is what it is, man. We don't give a damn, man. We're just preaching the word, man, and occupy until Yahweh Shai come. You know? So, hey, Lord, one of us was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory and infinite worship to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash, Devil Honors the Apostles and Others Great Millstone. I want to say Kwame Sharala, Mawak Lababal, Shalom.